Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow. Let me get my things under my camera. CZT, Certified Zentangle Teacher. And today's lesson is Iremen by Bonnie Luther, CZT. And it's this one. And then I did it in the round, which is this way. And then I also just did it on a tile where I did a string and just did a portion of it. And I'm going to use a, we're just going to use a little bijou tile and I'm just going to go straight with my pen. And I don't normally do that. Usually I will make my borders with my pencil, but I'm just going to do it with my pen so that I have a, a nice gridded off border. And now we're going to come back and we're going to do a little arc on both sides and the diagonal line. So arc and diagonal line. Two arced lines and a diagonal line. And you could rotate these and do them different, but I feel like it's easier to learn this by um, doing it all the same direction. So we're going to start up here close and then come down right to that line. Start here and fan out. And we're going to alternate that till we get all the way up to that last outside line. Now again on this bottom one, we're going to do the same thing. We are going to start. We could start here, the corner, and go down and work our way. So repeat here, start in the corner, fan out, start in the corner, fan out. Start in the corner, fan out, start in the corner, fan out. Then I'm going to come down and I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to the corner. And we just repeat that on all those squares. Any amount of squares that you have. And there we have it. Now we can do a little shading on this. And I've noticed that my, my lines here are really wide and I don't particularly like that much space. So I'm just going to come in here and because there's no mistakes in Zentangle, I'm just going to narrow that down so that they look more um, even, so there's not a big white space. So then I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to put a little graphite in the corners of that little arc. And then use my shading tool and just shade those. That's where my graphite's going to go. You could choose other places to put your shading. This would be a great one if you wanted to do um, a little um, striping in some of there, but that's pretty. So now I'm just going to pick up a small round tile and I'm just going to show you how I did it in the round on this one. Just a slight variation. I'm going to go ahead and do my border with my pencil. And now I'm going to grid it off with my pen. So I just make a cross grid. And then I'm going to just make that bowed out area
on each one of those and then I'm going to make my line down the center. And then I'm going to start here in this corner and come to here and Then turn it and I'm going to come from here over to here in the center down. And there you have it in the round. And I'm just going to take and do a little shading. This time I'm going to shade up here and down here at both of these um, intersections where my lines kind of are darker. And I really loved this particular tangle. It was lots of fun to do. It could be done in the round or in a grid. It's just a great tangle. And um, Bonnie Luther, thanks for this tangle. I've had fun with it. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. New videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Thanks again, and have a great day.